Eric P. Thorne, welcome to my studio. Thanks for joining me. I'm here today to show you the Twin Bender Fuzz. This is from Ramble FX. This is a version of the old Tone Bender circuit. And uh, super cool pedal, highly adjustable. Now you may be saying to yourself, didn't you already do a demo of that pedal? And I actually did. It was a previous version though, and it didn't have some of the features that this pedal has. So I'm going to walk you through all the features and stuff, walk you through some tones, and we're going to check it out a little further. So you heard me use it on all the guitar parts on the track at the beginning of the video. I used it with single coil pickups, with humbuckers, a bunch of different modes on the pedal. Actually, right out of the gate, I tried to flip some switches and stuff and show you while I was kind of in the middle of a, that riff at the beginning. Uh, uh, what uh, some of the different modes sounded like and what some of the switches do on the pedal. Uh, so I was flipping between uh, Mark 1.5 mode and Mark 2 mode using this switch right here. Uh, Mark 2 mode has a, an extra transistor in there. It's going to give you more gain, more girth. 1.5 mode's more vintage sounding, a little less gain. Cleans up beautifully with the guitar volume when you roll it down. I'm going to show you that in a little bit in the video as well. Um, and uh, what else have we got here for controls? So there's a, a tone switch here um, that's labeled mids, stock, and fat. So it's three different positions. Basically in the mid position, that's the, the thinnest setting. The stock position gets a little fatter and the fat setting is positively huge and humongous sounding. Uh, then we've got uh, the two big controls here, of course, level and attack controls. And uh, we've also got a bias control on the front of the pedal here. So that's going to allow you to kind of turn the bias all the way up or starve the bias by turning it down so you can get some really kind of almost broken and spitty sounds. I'll show you what that sounds like. Uh, now you've also got, this is a fantastic feature right here, uh, this is an impedance knob and uh, by turning it all the way up you're going to have the stock impedance setting but you can turn it down and actually experiment with getting some cleaner sounds. As you roll it down the sound cleans up and the other really great thing about having this control on this pedal is that you can use this pedal with a buffer in front of it or buffered signal like let's say you're using a wireless or something like that on stage and you want to use this pedal. Now traditionally germanium fuzz pedals sound terrible with anything buffered in front. You're able to fine tune the input and impedance of the pedal and you end up being able to use this pedal with a buffer in front which is really really great if, you, if you've got any kind of you know uh, pedal board switcher that's already got a buffer in it or anything like that and this pedal's hooked up to that or like I say if you're using a wireless or something in front it makes the pedal usable so it's great. Um, okay, so let's get on to some uh, uh, sound examples now. I'm going to run you through uh, what the controls do and everything with some examples. I'm also uh, going to show you how the pedal cleans up using the volume control on the guitar. And uh, I am also going to demonstrate using a buffer and turning that impedance control down and showing you how that uh, makes the pedal usable with a buffered, in, uh, buffered signal in front. Okay, here we go. <laughs>
Thanks for watching my video on the Twin Bender Fuzz from Ramble FX. Really, really cool, versatile, uh, highly tweakable version of the old Tone Bender circuit. Just sounds terrific. Uh, you can check it out further at the website you see there on the screen. And uh, hey, please hit subscribe if you haven't come back and see me for more videos real soon. I am Pete Thorne. Take care.